Look at any group of children in Britain. You'll see dark children and fair children. They will have brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes. This boy has got wavy brown hair. He's got straight blonde hair. She's got red hair. Where does all this variety come from? Who are the British? The ancestors of modern British people came from across the sea. Different groups of people came to these islands from the continent of Europe. The first people came over 300,000 years ago, but we don't know very much about those ancient Britons. About 400 BC, a group of people called Celts came to Britain from what is now Belgium, over there. Then, in 43 AD, the Romans came. The Romans didn't conquer the whole of Britain. They built a lot of towns and cities and roads like this one. The Romans built good straight roads and we still use them today. The Romans landed here at Richborough in Kent. I asked some pupils from a local school to tell me about the Romans in Britain. They built straight roads and they built many towns and cities in Britain. Did they conquer the whole of Britain? No, they didn't conquer Scotland. They built a wall to keep the Scots out because they caused them trouble. What was the wall called? Hadrian's Wall. How long did the Romans stay in Britain? They stayed in Britain for about 360 years. And when did they leave? They left in AD 410. Why did the Romans leave? They left because tribes from Germany attacked the empire and the emperor needed them. What happened to Britain after the Romans left? The Angles and Saxons invaded Britain. Where did the Angles and Saxons come from? They came from parts of Northern Europe. What do you know about the Angles and Saxons? They were tall and they had fair hair and blue eyes. The name England comes from the word Angle land. The Anglo-Saxons conquered the whole of England and they pushed the Celts into Ireland, Scotland and Wales. 400 years later, new invaders from Denmark and Norway attacked the countries of Europe. These were the Vikings. The Vikings conquered northeast England and Scotland. The Vikings were tall and a lot of them had blonde hair or red hair. A lot of people in Scotland today have got red hair. They are the descendants of the Vikings. The last invasion of Britain was in 1066. In that year, the Normans from France attacked England. The battle took place here near Hastings. The battle started at nine o'clock in the morning and it lasted till the evening. There were about 7,000 men on each side. The English army was up there on top of the hill and the Normans were down there. The Normans weren't in a very good position. All day they attacked the English but the English soldiers pushed them back. Then, the Norman Duke, William, had a good idea. The Normans fired their arrows into the air. The English King, Harold, looked up. And that wasn't a good idea, because he got an arrow in his eye. The Normans won the Battle of Hastings, and Duke William of Normandy became King of England. The Battle of Hastings was the last invasion of Britain. But over the centuries, people from many European countries came to Britain. They came from Russia, Poland, Germany, Hungary, Italy, Cyprus, and many other countries. Often, they were refugees from wars and revolutions on the continent. 
Today, Britain is a multiracial country. In the 1950s and 60s, people from other continents came to live in Britain. Their children were born here. What do today's young Britons know about their family history? My father's from Ireland and he was born in Dublin and moved to England when he was a child. My mum was born in England but her mother was born in Ireland. Both my dad's parents come from Ireland and I was born in England, in Oxford. Were you born in Britain, Mahan? No, I was born in Iran. Uh, when did you come to Britain? I came to Britain with my family two and a half years ago. And where do your family come from? They're all from Iran, but different parts. Which parts are they from? Um, my mother comes from the north and my dad's from the south, so they both speak different languages, different dialects. When did you learn English? Uh, during the two and a half years which I've been staying in this country. So did you know any English before you came to no, Britain? No, no, no. Were you born in Britain, Charlotte? Um, yes, I was. I was born in Birmingham. But you've got an American accent. Um, when I was very young, only about six months, um, my family moved to um, America. And when did they come back to Britain? About one and a half years ago. Which part of America did you live in? Well, I lived in um, Texas for a year, and then I moved up north to Pennsylvania. Are your parents from Britain? Um, well, my father was born in Northern Ireland, and my mother was born in Yorkshire. Where were you born, Jessica? I was born in Zambia, and I came to England about 10 months ago. And my parents are here studying. Um, my father studying agriculture, and my mother studying teaching. And my parents both English, but they were both born in Africa. This boy has got wavy brown hair. She's got red hair. They were told they had fair hair and blue eyes. Well, I lived in um, Texas for a year. The Romans landed here at Richborough in Kent. And I came to England about 10 months ago. They didn't conquer Scotland. When did they come back to Britain? The English army was up there. And the Normans were down there. The Normans weren't in a very good position. That wasn't a good idea. My mum was born in England.